Hi ladies, Colleen here. Um, I'm an independent consultant for Close to My Heart and um, today we're going to make this little clutch bag. It's really easy and simple. It opens up like that. You can fit quite a bit inside there. It also lays down flat so that they can be stored flat when you um, when you're not using them or when you if you make a lot and you can put them all together and have them stored away without having bulk. Um, I've got the idea from a lady called Elaine Jackson and she's from Papercraft Button. So today we're going to be making cotton candy. This one's crystal blue. So let's get started. There's no cutting involved. So this is our cotton candy. This is our um, cotton candy. Um, this one here is Adventure. It's beautiful. On the other side it's the same image but it's just really shiny it's lovely so we're going to be using that one today so let's get get cracking on it we're using our piece of um, our scoreboard and we're going to score our first score will be at two and three quarter inches make sure it's in properly not like the other day now I'll turn it around and I'll do two and three quarters again now I'm going to turn it I'm going to flip it over. I want the raised edges up and I'm going to score it at half inch on this end and turn it and score it at half inch on this end. These pieces here are going to fold backwards over the top that become the top edge of the bag. Turn it back the other way and we're going to score it at four and three quarters and turn it again and score it at four and three quarters. And that's all there is to it. So I'll put this away now. Now what we're going to do is um, burnish all our fold lines. As I said, these ones here become the top of the bag. So we'll fold those first. And then we'll take it over, push them back out, and then fold all our score lines. This here is the sides of the bag, and these ones here are the front and the back. Right, so what we'll do now is we'll, we will take it here. Now to get the side gusset piece here, you take this corner edge and you place your finger in the point there and you swing it round so that it matches the edge there and then you run your bone folder on the inside that gives you that edge like that and you do that on all four sides so you take your finger point it into there bring this around down bone folder inside so bring it over I hope you can see how easy that is. It's, it's yeah, really, really easy. And one more. So, finger point in there, finger to there, bring it over. And I hope you can see inside there. And then you just score. So when you're finished, your piece of cardstock will look like that. Very easy. So we'll turn it back over. Now we're going to add our pieces. Now our cardstock is 12 by 12, this piece here is 6 by 4 inches and I'm going to add some liquid glass onto here because I want it to, mm -hmm. come on liquid glass, there you go. Oh. Now when we place this on, When we place it on, you need to place that right up near that fold line at the top. There we are. So you've got about a quarter of an inch piece all the way around here. Then we're going to add liquid glass here to this top section. Mm -hmm. over and hold it for a few seconds so it sticks just 
hold it a few minutes for the glue to go off. Right, that's our first side done. Turn it around and we'll do our second side. So we'll do our piece of paper there. Half inch strip paste. Now I'm being very generous with the glue because this is the bit that will take the most wear and tear on it. Rub it down, the glue goes off, hold it in position. glass with its lovely little nozzle. So that's done. Now we'll flip it back over and these pieces fold in so we're going to add glue to just this bit here on all four sections and our bag's almost done. It's such a simple quick little bag. It's just about empty. Mind you, I've done a lot with it. There we are. And just fold that over. Press it down at both ends. Bag. So we'll set that aside for a minute and what we're going to be doing now is working on our piece of uh, our closure which is five and a half by two and a half inches and we're going to, as you can see I've already rounded um, some of the corners, four of the cor uh, three of the corners, there's the fourth one done and I'm going to bring in our half inch circle, uh, inch circle punch but I'm going to score this at um, Two and five eighths. So two and five eighths and one and three eighths. This gives me that a small gap closure. If you wanted it closer, you could um, just like do it at um, two and seven eighths to um, make the gap smaller. But that's up to you. Then we'll fold this and burnish the score lines. And then I'm going to insert it into our one inch punch and line it up, punch out a hole. Then I'm going to add glue to this section here. Mm. 
and add this to the back of the bag. Line up and put it in the centre. Over like that. Now, here I like to just give these a little bit of a squeezing, like so. Just give it a little bit of a pinch. And then here I've got, I've punched out just um, a shimmer. Uh, glitter paper circle in in the cardboard and on the back I've just added a little bit of 3d foam and added it to the top so that when I fold this over and line it up I'll sit it about there so that that becomes the closure on the box and it just slips over and opens and close this like so. But that's close, it's just been difficult. There we go. And there we have it. A lovely little bag. I hope you enjoyed this um, little video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.